Hi, Matthew here with F-Class Community Channel, providing you a quick update on the F-Class Panda action. This is a video response to Don Morrison, uh, one of our community members uh, with F-Class Community Channel, one of our subscribers. So thank you, Don, for your comments. Uh, I, I would like to just quickly go over the details for you. Uh, it's sp sporting an ergo grip with a dual trigger. Uh, HVR set to a uh, little bit less than one pound. Uh, I have the F-Class Panda Action uh, and uh, after cycling it and working with it, uh, the bolt has smoothed out a little bit more. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it glides actually very well uh, uh, there. Uh, what it's sporting is a 1 in 11 twist Bartlin barrel. Uh, the length of the barrel is 32 inches. And on top of the rifle uh, is a Cytron 3S3 uh, in a fine crosshair, uh, 10 to 50 by 60, uh, with the uh, uh, target turrets. Uh, so far, the aluminum chassis, I'm getting used to it, and uh, still there's a, a few things that, you know, the, the pet peeves that, that I mentioned before. However, I, I'm working through those. Uh, I'm working through uh, in terms of getting the right uh, LO uh, length of pull uh, for my prone position. Uh, so far, um, uh, it has been uh, a fun rifle to build. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, starting load development. Uh, right now, it's uh, life is just a little bit too busy for me to go out to the range. However, I've started reloading for it already. I've picked up uh, uh, 185 grain burger uh, juggernauts and uh, going to try to get them and push them uh, about uh, 2700 feet per second. So uh, it should be a great long range rifle. Uh, that's what my hope is for this build. Uh, and in, short, in terms of the short range as well, uh, I'm going to see if I want to play with the 155 grain uh, bullets uh, in order to to match the uh, 308 uh, Palma chamber uh, that is uh, 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 that that is what this rifle is cham chambered in. So it's chambered in an, an, a 95 Palma. Uh, it it will work with the 185 uh, grain uh, Burger juggern juggernauts. I think that would be about the limits in terms of. Uh, where I want the bullet to be seated uh, in relation to the shoulders. Um, but overall, uh, I'm very happy with the build. Uh, will I do it again in terms of use, using an aluminum chassis? I would probably uh, give it more time. I, I would shoot a little bit more. However, uh, like I said before in my previous videos, I am a little bit more of a traditionalist. I do like the feel of wood stocks or a laminated stock or even a synthetic uh, fiberglass uh, Kevlar reinforced stock. However, uh, for the time and the money spent on inletting and uh, building out the other rifle uh, with a wooden stock, uh, I, I, it would be a little bit more than... Uh, uh, a little bit more than getting into this aluminum chassis by Extreme Gun Shooting Center. Um, so far, uh, I mean, there's a few things that, you know, in terms of tolerances, I, I'd like to see cleaned up uh, by Extreme Gun Shooting Center if they're going to continue to build these stocks, um, especially the gap, I guess, uh, between the adjustable uh, gr uh, grip uh, position. Uh, it needs to be a little bit more forward uh, or adjustments need to be made to the adapter that the grip is attached to. Uh, other than that, I mean, uh, you've heard what I've, I've uh, mentioned before in previous videos. I, I will probably end up changing up this uh, into a, some a V-shaped uh, bag rider uh, in order to match the profile of my rear rest uh, that I'm going to be using. So, um, or I, I change out my rear rest uh, to something that's more suited to uh, uh, this round bag rider that, that we have. Uh, so far, um, a, a very simple uh, level. Uh, 
$17 off of Amazon. It works pretty well. I'm quite happy with it. It's a B squared uh, uh, level. And uh, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to provide you guys with an up update. Thank you, Don Morrison, for, for the question. I know I haven't updated the channel uh, for a little while. However, however uh, there's more to come. I will, uh, I would love to put on and working and I'm working on a video in terms of how 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 to score and how to plot. I think that's one of the key things that uh, F class uh, shooters from open to uh, TR to uh, FTR uh, should be doing in terms of keeping a record of the score to see if they're improving uh, their wind reading abilities and to uh, be able to um, also uh, prove out uh, uh, how much improvement you're 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 getting uh, in terms of uh, being able to read the winds uh, and how to improve your your wind reading with the the uh, plotomatic or with a, 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 a plotting chart or a graphing chart for uh, F class. So if you have any other questions regarding this uh, F class uh, uh, Panda build, uh, feel free to give me a call. Uh, or sorry, uh, feel free to message me. Uh, leave comments below. I will try to respond to it as best I uh, best as I can. And remember, keep an eye on the flags and tight groups.